Getting rid of human waste has never been easier. As soon as the toilet is flushed, your waste is gone. Human waste will then travel through pipes and end up at the wastewater treatment facility. However, when a clog occurs, everything backs up and things can get messy. As the population grows and more flushable items come on the market, clogs are becoming more prevalent. To ensure that the pipes in your home don't clog or back up, pre-treatment technician Tracy Stevens put on the white lab coat and is going to teach us a little bit about the science of sewage. So we're going to do um, a bit of an experiment now. We're going to take various things that um, I would like to convince you not to put down in the toilet, but you'd probably be uh, more likely to not put it down if you see what it does rather than just listening to me. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, put these various um, types of tissue in here and then we'll turn it on and we'll watch how quickly they fall apart or don't fall apart. So we have our one ply tissue, three ply, regular old toilet paper here from here at the plant, plush toilet paper that one of my colleagues brought in from home. Thank you, Alyssa. Um, one brand of flushable wipes and the other brand of flushable wipes. And we'll turn this on and see what happens. The regular toilet paper is designed to fall apart. And while, um, as we saw, the plush toilet paper will eventually fall apart, it really is more, its marketing is that it's going to um, be soft and strong. And if it's nice and strong and quilted, it's gonna take a lot more to get it to break up. The findings? Both toilet papers flushed and broke down like they were supposed to. However, when it came to the facial tissue... It's just not designed to go down the toilet. Toilet paper is specifically designed to fall apart when you flush it, and tissue, facial tissue is designed to not fall apart when you blow your nose in it. So, as you can see, it's not falling apart. And the wipes? What you're seeing is not much. They've been spinning for, what, one or two minutes now, and they're, um, they're completely intact. I think perhaps what you're seeing in the cloudiness and flushable wipe A um, is some lotion that's coming off of it. So this has certainly been agitated as much as it would have been if it had gone through your toilet flush and they're still completely whole. And I wanted to just to demonstrate a few other things that people very frequently will flush that they shouldn't. So I have some uh, dental floss here. That's about how much I use. So we'll plop that one in here, Q-tips or ear swabs. We'll put two because most people have two ears. And then we have some feminine hygiene products here. We have a um, panty liner and uh, we have a tampon. Okay, and one final thing, I'm gonna put a couple Q-tips and some dental floss into this uh, number five here. Let's just see what happens there. In this first jar, we have dental floss and um, well, no surprise, it's not dissolving but it is wrapping itself around the propeller shaft, which it will do in any kind of pump and anything that spins. Um, in the next one, we have Q-tips, and they do look like they might be falling apart a little bit, um, but they several times have already jammed it and made it stop running, and we'll come back to that. I bet it'll jam up in another minute here. This is a panty liner, and it's just swimming. It's not really doing anything at all. Off to the next one, this is a tampon, and as you can see, it's jammed itself between the propeller and the side of the beaker, and it's stopped the blade. And in number five, we have the Q-tips and dental floss, and the dental floss um, has tied the Q-tips to the propeller, and anything else that was in there with, the, with that um, dental floss would uh, be tied to the propeller as well. If you come back here to the uh, Q-tips, um, you see that they've jammed up that blade and they can't, it can't spin anymore. As you can see, none of these items have broken down. Don't flush them. Toilet paper, that's it. Toilet paper and what comes out of you. Everything else, put it in the garbage can. Cat owners take heed. This flushable kitty litter has been in the spin test for four hours. And not only does it not dissolve, but I uh, just emptied out the flushable kitty litter after it had been stirring for several hours and as you can see, it doesn't dissolve. The um, brown that you saw in the water, that was just some of the dust that was in it, but um, it essentially is the same sand that it was when it went in. 
And that means that if you've already flushed this flushable kitty litter, it might not have ever left the pipes under your home. If these things get caught up in your pipes, which are quite a bit smaller than our pipes, um, it can cause a clog and you can get your sewer backed up into your basement and you really don't want that. And then of course, once it gets to the lift station, if it jams up in the pumps, the pumps will stop and then your whole neighborhood can back up. While a product may be marketed as flushable, it might not actually be safe for the pipes under your home. If you define flushable as yes, it will go down the toilet, then um, everything here is flushable. Uh, if you define it as whether it will make it to the treatment plant, then um, you know all of these things could eventually make it to the treatment plant, and you know maybe one time out of ten or one time out of twenty, they they don't. And with you know, hundreds of thousands of people out there flushing these things down, one out of ten, one out of a hundred, one out of a thousand they're going to cause trouble. Ultimately, the only thing that should ever get flushed down your toilet is human waste and toilet paper. Anything else could cause backups in the system and headaches for you. For more information about our wastewater system, log on to SpokaneWastewater.org.